Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. Yate for being upset with my friend who ditched me after her date? So my friend called me earlier today, all pumped up about her date and really wanting to meet up afterward. I had plans to catch up with someone else first, but I told her, no problem we can definitely hang out later. After I finished with the other person I called her like we'd agreed, and she told me she was just heading to her date but still wanted to meet up after. By this time it was 8.38 p.m., and I was already pretty close to home. I let her know I needed to be home by 11 p.m., but she insisted we meet after her date, promising it'd only last an hour. I thought, fine, I'll just hang out at the mall where she's meeting the guy, and we'll catch up when she's done. It's exhausting trying to explain why I'm upset when it feels so clear to me, I kept thinking we were on the same page, but clearly, we're not. Her dismissive response makes me feel even more isolated. It's like no matter how much effort I put into our friendship, it's never enough. I'm questioning if this relationship is worth all the emotional turmoil. Maybe it's time to reevaluate what I need and who I want to surround myself with. I need to focus on my own well-being and stop letting this mess drain me. I head to the mall and wait. An hour goes by, then an extra 15 minutes. I call her to let her know I'm there, and she asks for 15 more minutes. At this point I'm thinking, okay, she's wrapping things up and we'll finally meet. But then, 15 minutes later, she calls back and says she can't meet anymore because she decided to stay with the guy. I was seriously pissed off. I came all the way here just to see her, waited over an hour and she ends up ditching me. When I brought it up trying to explain how she messed up, she fixated on this one part where I said, this isn't how I treat my friends. She twisted it, accusing me of making personal digs, and saying I was implying she treats her friends badly, which wasn't my intention at all. At this point I was already heated, and her reaction just made it worse. Here's her last message. No you listen. I can't believe I'm repeating this over and over. When I hung up at 8, 38 p.m., I said I was coming to the mall, which means I did come, and you're saying I didn't call doesn't change that you knew I was coming. We discussed meeting after my date, and you knew it was supposed to be just an hour. I don't see the confusion. And why would I call you if you're in the middle of something? I told you I'd be at the mall, waiting for you to finish up. I should have just gone home, but you said you wanted to meet, so I agreed. And the 15 minutes thing. I called you, you said give me 15 minutes. I was already at the mall, you knew that. You knew I came just to see you, and then you said you couldn't come. Isn't that rude? You knew I came to meet you. It's not a misunderstanding. Just put yourself in my shoes. I'm sorry if my tone seems harsh. But this is me. This whole conversation was supposed to be about how you treated me, not about how I express myself. I've never had anyone treat me this way. I would have never treated you like that. Her response? You called me in the middle of my date anyway. I wish you'd called earlier to avoid this. Please don't attach meaning to my actions. It doesn't reflect how I feel about you. I'm extremely understanding about this stuff and I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. I know I'd handle it differently and definitely wouldn't taunt a friend about how they treat others based on this incident. The fact is, you were there, and I couldn't meet you. It happens to the best of us. Calling me names and dissecting my character for not showing up was unnecessary and rude. Your messages made it seem like I do this intentionally and that I'm a terrible friend, which wasn't fair. You saying you're harsh and that's just who you are is a sign that you might need to self-reflect as well. I didn't mean to avoid you, it just didn't work out because of poor communication. When stuff like this happens, you cut people some slack. Next time just give me a heads up so I'm not waiting around. After all you've said, I'd know how to communicate better with you in the future. I'm done discussing this. I need some time off. I'm still fuming over the whole situation. It's like she's missing the point entirely. I made an effort, showed up, and waited only to be blown off for a date. It's not just about her not meeting up, it's about how dismissive she was of my time and feelings. I feel like I'm always the one who ends up compromising, and when I finally voice my frustration it gets turned against me. I'm left questioning if I'm overreacting or if my feelings are valid. Either way, I'm drained and really need to take a step back and figure out where things stand. It's exhausting trying to explain why I'm upset when it feels so clear to me, I kept thinking we were on the same page, but clearly, we're not. Her dismissive response makes me feel even more isolated. It's like no matter how much effort I put into our friendship, it's never enough. I'm questioning if this relationship is worth all the emotional turmoil. Maybe it's time to reevaluate what I need and who I want to surround myself with. I need to focus on my own well-being and stop letting this mess drain me. 
AITA for refusing to accommodate my daughter's vegan diet. My wife and I have eight kids. When we got married, I had two kids who are now 21 and 19, and she had three who are now 23, 21, and 16. Our story today revolves around our 13-year-old Gina, who's our first together, and was born into this blended family. Gina doesn't have any childcare duties and struggles to keep her own space clean, let alone help out with the rest of the house. Recently, Gina told me she wants to go vegan. I said, all right, that's your choice. I added, I'm fine with covering the groceries, but if you want to go vegan, you're going to have to plan and cook your own meals, no relying on frozen dinners or takeout, gotta keep things fresh and healthy, your mom and I will make sure your meals are up to standard before we go grocery shopping. Gina wasn't thrilled with this. She wanted us to adjust our diet to accommodate her, like switching to vegan pasta and cooking the meatballs separately. We told her that wasn't going to happen. We're not changing our entire eating habits just because she wants to be vegan. She took this news, went to her room, and then things got a bit out of hand. She started sending me and my wife links to high-end kitchen sets. One set was around $800 and, and matching plates, cups, and bowls that cost about $200. She said she needed these items because our current kitchenware was contaminated for her vegan needs. I told her, look, our kitchen gear is perfectly fine. If you want new stuff, you'll need to buy it yourself with your allowance or get a side gig like babysitting. Later that day, I got a call from one of my sons saying Gina was demanding that he and the other kids remove all their snacks from the game room fridge which has a kitchenette because she needed it for her vegan food. When I asked her about this, she said her vegan food couldn't be in the same fridge as our food and that it wasn't fair to make her go all the way to the garage when she was hungry. So, she thought taking over the game room kitchenette was a good compromise. I had to put my foot down and refuse her unreasonable demands. I told her she couldn't be vegan while living in my house under these conditions. She threw a temper tantrum, accusing me of being cruel, and she's barely spoken to me since. Now, I'm wondering if I'm the asshole here. Edit. As for why I'm not changing our meals to suit her, I don't adjust our cooking for the other kids either. They know from a young age that they either eat what I cook or make something themselves. For instance, my 19-year-old hates mushrooms. I cook with mushrooms whenever I want, and if she doesn't like it, she makes her own sauce. The vegan thing isn't going to be any different. I don't provide special meals for the other kids every week. They eat what I cook or make their own food. Going back to the spaghetti example, my 19-year-old dislikes mushrooms, but everyone else likes them in the sauce, so she makes her own. We barbecue every Sunday, and I offered to grill a vegan burger along with the regular burgers, but she didn't want that because the burgers are cooked on the same grill with the same spatula. She says she wants to be vegan for the animals, but so far, it's only been about her food. I haven't seen her give up her leather, cashmere, or wool clothes. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.